Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about all these layoffs. These layoffs, let's face it, they're sad. I mean, we have so many good gaming companies that have to lay off a bunch of their staff, and people are talking about the next crash in gaming. God willing, that won't happen, and I don't believe we're heading to that. And, and in the midst of all this, we now have Sony announcing not only are they firing around 900 employees, they also are canceling games. And we already know EA had to cancel their Star Wars Mandalorian game. So, yeah, the video game industry is struggling right now. It, well, most of it anyway. I mean, Nintendo's just sitting there nice and pretty, aren't they? I remember watch, I was watching a Spawnway video and he was talking about how apparently Nintendo has a lot of money in the bank. And that was because they basically are, I think, more conservative with it. And it is true. Nintendo, I think, is more conservative than the other companies. But not only that, Nintendo tends to know how to make money in the sense that the Wii U sold, I think that was the first time selling at a loss, right? Their console. Then the Switch came out, and once again, they were not selling it at a loss. So yeah, Nintendo seems to be sitting pretty. And I read this article, and this article is over a month old, but it was pointing out how, I guess, amidst, this probably was the beginning of layoffs, how what I wanted did. And, and that's what I'm trying to say. I really appreciate or respect Sarada. Um, I'm not going to try to say his first name. What Iwata did when he cut his paycheck in half to avoid firing anybody. Because we know the CEOs of these companies and stuff like that, they make a lot of money, and rightfully so. I mean, they got to run a, a good amount of the company, I believe, or basically the whole company. So for him to cut his paycheck in half rather than firing a bunch of people... I think we need to take a book from from that. I know that's, I think that's an Asian thing. I think Sony um, board or something did, like maybe they cut it in a quarter at one point or something like that. I'm not sure. But I really think that the companies would be better if they followed like Iwata's example, that instead of firing the employees who've been working so hard for you, like these CEOs and whatnot, hey, take that pay cut. We know you guys probably, at least some of you may live luxurious lifestyles or whatnot but maybe take the pay cut and just for a few months just be like okay well i i, I don't have to do this or that or that i don't know i don't know I don't, i'm not gonna tell people how to live their lives but i would just that's just a suggestion because i really think you build morale in the company when the employees realize their ceo or the people above them got their back because look at nintendo nintendo had one bad generation uh, I, I wouldn't call the GameCube a bad one. So yeah, I'm going to go for now. In the last four generations, they've had one bad generation being the Wii U. The Wii, the GameCube, and definitely the Switch. So yeah, in the last four generations, they've had one bad generation. And I really think that, I'm not telling Sony and Microsoft they need to be more like Nintendo, but I really think people need to look, take notes, figure out, okay, how come when everybody else in the industry is laying off people, how come they're not? And then figure out what you can use from that because this just sucks. Like all these layoffs, no. Like I think according to the GameSpot article, around 7,000 people throughout the industry have been laid off like recently. So really, guys, you got to figure out ways to keep your employees because all the turnaround and stuff like that, no, that don't work as much. I think that if you can keep your employees and keep their morale high, you're going to be able to produce such better content, better games, and then, then eventually more money. But what do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my lecture and subscribe, and may God bless you all.